What's going on guys? This is Poker Stacked and I'm going to be talking about online poker strategy for 2020 that can help you dominate cash games. Okay, so I'm going to be breaking down a session I had here on Ignition Poker. If you guys are looking for a great place to be playing, definitely recommend them. So I'll have some sign up resource and bonus links in both the description and comments of this video. Okay, so uh, I play a lot of poker. You know, I play on a daily basis pretty much. My sessions, you know, sometimes last anywhere between like, uh, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes longer than that. Now, the one thing you got to understand about online poker and how it is these days is that, you know, you really want to focus on, you know, playing only one to two tables. A lot of people, when they get started with online poker, they think that, oh, I'm going to play like four or five, six tables at a time. And, you know, it's going to increase my win rate because I'm going to see more hands per hour. You know, these days, in order to like really, you know, turn a profit and, you know, continue turning a profit, you have to focus on what you're doing. So keep it between one and two tables. Don't play any more than that the other thing too is you want to play stakes that make sense you know for example you're gonna see me playing uh you know one two no limit right here i don't think you should be playing games below a hundred dollars on the buy-in you know if you're playing for just entertainment purposes that's totally fine but if you're trying to actually like you know make some money at this and not everybody's gonna be able to do that you at least want to give yourself you know the best chance possible and you need to play stakes where you can actually win money so one two no limit to two hundred dollar buy-in fifty cent dollar is one hundred dollar buy-in i think those are probably the right stakes now check out this hand i had right here uh six five i had a uh, you know middle pair right here shoved all in on this guy and check out how i drew out on him it was pretty disgusting i had a a, a straight um, you know, I put that guy in a different range of hands that he could have had. And, uh, you know, I fortunately that one worked out for us, but, you know, I easily could have lost that hand. But, you know, the poker gods were obviously looking out for me right there. OK, um, and that's the next thing I want to talk about. Whenever you're playing, you have to put people on like ranges of what they might have, um, you know, and you you get an idea of what people have based on how they're raising you know if it's pre-flop and you know they're putting in a raise pre-flop early in position you, you're going to know that they have some kind of some kind of decent hand uh if they're raising in late position it could be a position raise trying to steal the blind um and if they re-raise you pre-flop uh after you put in a raise you know they're they're always going to be repre representing strength but the the idea here is guys you know you have to put people on a range of what they have and that's how you're really going to excel at online poker um and it kind of comes back to you know being able to focus but the more hands you play you know the better you're going to get at putting people on ranges and the better you're just going to get overall so you got to put in the hands so you got to put in the time which is just practice and that's another thing too you really can't like uh overlook that you're just gonna have to put in the hands um in the time that's just how it is with poker uh you know the more you do uh the more you you know play more hands and whatnot you know the better you're gonna get and that just comes with the territory you know it's just about you know that consistency okay pocket nines right here jack jack 10 flop <clears throat> not exactly a good flop you know we're really looking for a turn on the nine uh i'm sorry a, a nine on the turn card would be awesome but a 10 came um and basically at this point we're looking at nine high uh our hand is completely counterfeited so for me at this point it was like a check check since he was calling my raise you know i just felt like really not a whole lot of value to try to bluff this one so you know kind of went down to showdown here he had the 10 i lost it and i was happy with how you know i played that hand i didn't really lose a whole lot that's the other thing too guys you don't want to be bluffing too much if you're gonna bluff uh you you gotta you gotta have you gotta be like consistent with the bluff you know if you're bluffing on the flop you've got to bluff on the turn and then you got to be willing to bluff on the river you know so if you're gonna bluff stick with your bluff don't uh you know don't be stupid about it all right pocket kings right there you know it sucks when you get pocket kings and everybody folds all right i folded that hand right there now we got another uh, good hand coming up here shortly but you know if you have any uh questions about playing online poker right now or you want to chime in feel free to message me below in the comments i'll get back to you guys but i definitely thought you know in this uh session right here we saw a few good hands uh you know all right three nine ten hard draw out there straight draw possibilities 
the other thing about Planet Ignition too, I absolutely love the software here. So uh, you can change the color of tables, car decks, there's auto mucking, um, you know, there's just a lot of cool, uh, you know, customization. Um, and then, of course, I've got some big tournaments here as well, if you guys like to play tournaments. Me, personally, you know, I'm more of a cash game player, but I'll play in a tournament if I've got some, you know, spare time. All right, pocket eights in the big. All right, everybody folded to me on that one, which kind of sucked. All right, between pocket kings and pocket eights, sucks not getting any action. All right, now this is going to be the final hand, um, and I played this one pretty aggressive, I'm not going to lie, but, you know, I was willing to, uh, you know, do my thing here and risk it for the biscuit, you know what I mean? So, you know, strategy, you know, you just got to, you just gotta be willing to put that that aggression in sometimes, guys. I mean, uh, it, sometimes you have those gut instincts, and this is one of the hands that I definitely did. All right, so this guy re-raised it to twenty eight dollars. So, you know, I played at this table for a while. I mean, I probably played it with the same people at this table for like an hour. Either this guy was bluffing this hand, or he actually had you know a big hand. But I was willing to uh, you know gamble it on this one. And once again, we hit middle pair, uh, you know, and th I mean, there are possibilities here, runner, runner, uh, flush possibilities. Uh, he put in a small continuation bet. I decided to just come over the freaking top on this guy. No fear, no mercy, all in, doing my thing. And ultimately, I'm going to get him to fold his hand. And it kind of worked out for me. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, you know, another uh, poker session here. You could uh, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.